Good Thursday morning, friends. Now, this past Sunday, I addressed a very important question. Who is Jesus to you? Now, this is an important question to answer for everyone. Last night, I asked another very important question to the folks at Bible study. Why is it important for us to know what we believe? I received several different answers to the second question, anything ranging from to understand the Bible to to know how you should live. Now I'm going to talk about these questions in a moment, but first let's look at our psalm for today. So get your Bibles and turn to Psalm 96 and let's look at verses 1 through 9. Psalm 96, 1 through 9, and you can follow along as I read it. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise His name, proclaim His salvation day after day. Declare His glory among the nations, His marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For the God of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before Him. Strength and glory are in His sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord all you families and of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due His name. Bring an offering and come into His courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of His holiness. Tremble before Him all the earth. Our fourth stage of worship is to speak out. Worship is to be done, as it says in verse 3, among the nations. Now verse 2 says that as we worship, we are proclaiming His salvation, literally bearing tidings of good news. There's no better way to show skeptics the greatness of God and the beauty of His truth than through worship. Our worship is to be compelling to non-believers. That is a corrective to static worship and shallow preaching alike. And dynamic worship is not just a means to winning the world, but also provides our motivation to do so. This is why it's important to know who Jesus is to you and what you believe. So you can confidently speak out and speak up about the one you believe in. How hard is it to be enthused over something you really aren't sure of? You need to answer this question. Who is Jesus to you? And then be joyful in that answer. Because only a heart filled with overflowing joy will want to share the source of that joy with everyone they meet. I mean, if you had the cure for cancer, would you keep it a secret? True worship propels us into the world to serve and to love. Let's pray. Lord, grow my understanding of your grace until it rids me of the self-consciousness, lethargy, and permission that keep me from opening my mouth and identifying as a Christian in public. Forgive me for being silent about all you've done for me. Amen. So the four stages we've learned of are rise up, adoration, Kneel down, confession. Listen well, soften our hearts. And speak out, publicly profess your belief. Now we've only got one more to learn, so come back tomorrow. Until then, don't be afraid to tell others about what you believe. And be blessed.